Today, I'll be showing you how to make a mobile out of origami cranes. Materials you'll need are a tree branch, an old paintbrush, clippers, nylon fishing thread, needles, and a bunch of origami cranes. I went out for a walk and found a nice branch I thought would work well as the base of my mobile. It was a bit dirty, so I brushed off the excess dirt with an old paintbrush. Next, I took a pair of clippers and trimmed off the little branches until I got the shape that I was happy with. I really like the curves of this branch, so I didn't want to get rid of too much. I still wanted it to look natural. I decided I'd make a rough sketch of my mobile and decide how I would hang my cranes on the branch. You really don't need to do this, but I find it helps me. Now this part takes a bit of patience. You'll want to use the invisible thread to string the cranes and some pretty beads to space the cranes along the thread. For demonstration purposes, I'll be using a colored thread so you can see what I'm doing. Get an arm's length of string and thread the needle as well as a bead onto the string. Make sure you leave about 3 to 4 inches of the string at the end of the bead. Hold the bead in place and thread the needle through the bottom of the bead so you form a loop. You're sort of tying the bead in place. Just to make sure the beads stay in place, I tied a knot around the bead. Now unthread the needle and thread the tail end of the string where the bead is. to take the tail end of the thread and thread it through the bead. It's a lot of knots but at least you'll know your bead won't slip. Especially when using fishing thread, you'll definitely want to make sure the knots are in place since it's very slippery. 
Cut the excess tail of the string. Grab a crane and thread it through from the bottom to the center of the crane's back. Now you've got a crane and it won't slip through the string. You can leave a single crane on the string or you can make tiers of cranes on the same string. If you want to string more cranes, you want to take a bead and make a loop around it like before. The bead will space the cranes apart without them stacking right on top of each other. You can string as many cranes as you'd like, but for my mobile, my maximum number of cranes on a string will be three. Once you've finished threading all your cranes, it's time to tie them on your beautiful tree branch. This is my favorite part, since I can start seeing my design come to life. I like to tie each string of cranes at different heights so when it's hanging it looks like a flock of cranes are flying in the air just like they do in nature. Remember to trim any excess string. Once you're happy with what you've got, just tie the two ends of the branch with string and hang it from your ceiling or near a window. If you've got a bunch of cranes lying around like I do, this is a really simple yet elegant piece to make for yourself, as a gift, for decor at an event, or even as a mobile for a baby's room. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like more.